Welcome to Yield Max TV. Thank you to all my current subscribers, all the new people. This channel is not just about Yield Max. I cover everything. So let's go ahead before we jump into how to use an inverse fund properly. Take a look at the markets. The Dow is starting to come back. I took a screenshot a few minutes ago. Everything else will come back as well. I did buy Ulti this morning. I bought more than yesterday. Okay, I am a dividend whore, but I am also very conservative in my wild approach. You may all know that I've done this originally with no money down. I am like quadruple leveraged. I do not get margin calls. I am about strategies, not spreadsheets. So how do you use an inverse? My total return in one week is 8%, okay? I start with a fixed dollar amount. My dollar amount, and I got in this for the massive dividend I expect. Previous distribution, okay? We'll take a close look, a deep dive into Fiat, the inverse of Kony down here. They paid $1.89 per share. I had 1,200 shares. I don't know what Jay and the team at Yield Max is going to decide to pay me. So I've decided to pay myself. Here's how I do it. You should not hold an inverse long. It is not designed for that. There is a way to sandwich it, but every YouTuber that heard my first video about Tesla sandwich has gotten it wrong. So I don't sandwich myself. I'm very um, vegan. 19, now if I started, let's look closely everyone. If I started with $25,000, and I'm up $1,921. Where is that $1,900? Why is it not added to the $25,000 value like one forty-four? Because it's in my pocket, Skippy. Every time I would go over what I consider a decent amount over my $25,000, I would trade future share income for instant cash money. How does that work? <laughs> it's beautiful. Let me just tell you. On 1,200 shares that I had, I have already made 18 and withdrawn $1,800. That's over a dollar per share dividend I've given myself. I would dump it all on a day like today and walk away with the 9%, but I'm one or two days away from X dividend date, okay? Now, I'm at the mercy of yield max and what they decide to pay out, but Queenie hasn't done well. And it has fluctuated. It's had volatility. It's had everything. Nobody tracks fiat. They paid a dollar and Bitcoin's been going down. Everything should be going in the, in the way, okay, in the proper direction at the proper speed for fiat to pay out a huge dividend. An unsung hero. I like to bet on the underdog, but not for long, okay? Now, let's jump back here. So, I was doing my crypto things. This is why people love us. Okay. Um, let's go down to my private room, the command center. You can see here I was up to 26,000. So yesterday I sold only 50 shares. Think about the share to dollar ratio. This is what people don't think about. Okay. So, okay, he's going to get the dividend. He wants to get the dividend. I still have over 1,000 shares. I traded 50 shares. Let's say they only give us a dollar dividend. Or let's say they give $2. I get $1,000 now to give up maybe $100 in a dividend. I take this move. This is great. I'm not, I don't have to trade puts. I don't have to do anything. I am ripping off the top of my $25,000. i will stay in this for as long as I want to. Let's see how the dividend is. But if you think about it, theoretically, all right, I've already captured the dividend. Okay, that day I was only up $1,100, 4.66%. I try to speak so that you can just listen to my videos as well. You don't have to be glued to the screen. Okay, and I sold 50 shares. I made the trade off cash instead of maybe iffy potential dividends. Cash now, thank you, cash now. So I brought my portfolio of fiat back down to 25,000. It just keeps going up. All right, so everything else is down. That's okay. It'll all rebound. I got great stuff. I got AMZ, QDT, XTTE. And I have QDT and XDT in a equal dollar amount. They started at 61500 each. And well, in a bad environment, you can see that XDT held up better than QDTE. 
just stick that as a feather in your hat. If you like that, tell me in the comments. Oops, I slipped and I, I, I fell down and I bought $8,000 worth of ulti. So I'm kind of switching from my inverse, moving it to a high dividend payer I can hold. And we'll cover ulti at the end. I'll bring on another YouTuber to explain it to you, a YouTuber I like. Okay, I see everybody's enjoying hamburger. I get no credit. I don't see my name anywhere. I don't see a thank you, Oracle, nothing, but we have hamburger now. Anyway, oh, and ever since Snip Snip, remember Asshead? We're, we can't call retire on dividends that anymore. Okay, we're going to now call him Mangina. Keyword for the day, if you stay till the end, put in the comments Mangina. Okay, most spell checkers will help you. So let's continue. So I'm ripping, selling, I'm using an inverse. I'm getting it for the dividend. But while I'm waiting for the dividend, I'm doing something none of you ever think of. Okay, money now in exchange for, um, uh, do I want to call it? I don't want to call it fairy tale, make believe, uh, kind of promised dividends. Kind of promised. That's a very technical term. Kind of promised. So, yeah, I slipped into some ulti. It smells nice in here. I mean, it, it smells like chicken. All right, it's not like curve. Let's go ahead. Oracle said my 25000 is up again, so I had sell $500 worth. I've oh. already made about $1,600 today, which is the equivalent of a dividend on this small fiat position. This is how you use an inverse. You use it lightly. Okay, you don't plan on holding it to balance out whatever. So I don't know if I'm going to keep the position, but I know one thing. Okay, I am getting paid Oracle now. said I still have the $25,000 I started with effectively creating my own dividend. Yeah, people will tell you this. If you like this content, you must subscribe. The only thing I get for this, okay, is your comments. I am not monetized on this channel. They may not even show it to you. Oracle said profit $1,500 one day. This beats laying out $900 to make $28 in puts on the Korean wheel snip strategy. Did he say Korean wheel snip strategy? He's talking about retire on dividends. You ever see that guy? And then he annualizes it. Okay, and then it's just ridiculous. Okay, um, all right. So I took another three hundred dollars. Oopsie Daisy, oopsie Daisy. Okay, I, I was up three hundred dollars more. So again, you look fourteen shares might be worth what fourteen dollars in a dividend, maybe twenty eight if he pays two. All right, two dollars a share, but I got three hundred thirteen dollars free. So what do I still have now? What do I have? Let me go in my pocket here. Okay, I still have. 25, this is real time, $25,130 worth of fiat. I have, it looks like if I had 1,200, I have a few shares left. I mean, less, like 19 shares in reality. I think I had like 1,206, I don't know. But do you understand the concept here? Do you understand the concept? I don't need, people say, why do you buy puts? Why do you... I don't need any of that. I like push button money and common sense. If you like that too, subscribe below. For Bill's carpet bombing, 56418. Things are coming back a little better. Let's take a look at my whole situation here. Hold on. So I'm down 2900 for the day. Yeah, look at these. So, and we're just peeling off the top here. Peeling off the top. Everything's doing, if I do this in percentages, let's do percentage change. It's not not much. Okay, so ulti is down 1%. You know, this is pretty much the lowest. I bought more today. The lowest I've seen it at. Ulti is changing. I'm not giving you any advice to buy this or whatever. My big player here is AMZ because not for the yield, but the capital appreciation I'm going to see. Hold on, my screen just went crazy. The capital appreciation I'm going to see, okay, just blew up. Look at that. Ah, when I, Because I have 18,000 shares. So the market is coming up. This is good news. I have a way. Ulti go up. I'm going to introduce you now to the working investor, another YouTuber. I brought you hamburger. Now I bring you the working guy. Warning, he is really, really crazy with some of his ideas and things. Okay. So this guy... He's the working investor, okay? I like him. 
Okay, I think he's good. He goes a little crazy, gets carried away sometimes with shit. He kind of has my sandwich thing, kind of doesn't. Don't worry. What I'm going to do with Fiat, I'm already, as far as I'm concerned with Fiat, I have to tell you, I am already, hold on, let's try to pull that up again. I am already, if he, if it goes ex-dividend, I already got that covered. I got $1,800. I've taken off the top from this. How epic is that? Okay, hold on. Let's go ahead and unlock. Boom. All right, so the ripping off the top, it, it cannot be ignored for its power and simplicity. Okay, so I'm going to watch this move right here, that fiat move. So we are up already, and I can't wait till they give the dividend. I'll still get a nice dividend, $1,900 profit in about one week. That's about as long as I've held this. I've ensured that I've locked down the 1900 Do you understand? If you understand, please tell me that you understand in the comments that I made my point clear about it's okay to trade a little bit, to use these things as a trading vehicle and trade a little bit and use my formulation of dollars now versus dividends you might get. See, I've already gotten $1,900 worth of dividends on a 1,100 to a 1,200 share position. No matter what Jay decides to give us. And you know what? After X dividend, if I was going to keep this position, I don't know how long I'm going to keep it. But I could take that money I took out, the 1,900, right? And I could put it back in. But why should I do that? Okay, there's a lot of things I could do. So let's go over to and listen to the working investor. Okay, he's not. I, I, all right, he's gonna talk about Ulti. He's gonna go up a skirt, and we're gonna take a look. Because they've changed their holdings. So now I know this is very anticlimactic that I'm literally giving you the answer right here. That I got the email saying that XDTE that. cents per share. QDTE Wait, cents per right, we, Ulti. All right, we all know about QDTE and XTE. They're great. I have to say something about uh, SoCal Steve. I commented under his video today, Steve-O, uh, his whining and bitching to Jay about making a weekly fund. I get paid every week because I have a combination of two yield max products that pay on two different weeks. And then I have two Roundhill products that pay every week. So it's every week. It just is a determination of how large the payment is going to be. So... There's no need, Steve-O, to cry and whine. You know what? The community, this is as bad as crypto. Nobody gives a shit what you think. It's like you going into a bakery that everybody likes. They all go into the bakery, and all of a sudden, you and a group of people decide you want hot dogs. And you start making a protest in the bakery that you want them to sell hot dogs. I take you and throw you through the fucking door and say, Hey! We don't sell fucking hot dogs here, stupid. Excuse me, I had a, an incident. If you've seen the video, you know what I mean. Comment about what you just experienced down below. Working investor, please speak up about Ulti. And Ulti just sounds dirty. It reminds me of like going up her skirt. Ulti. I, I bet you she's related to Stacy. I know she's got Marge and Charge heavy. She works with Marge. In this, Marge is her mama son, okay? Look at the holdings of Ulti. They change their holdings. I mean, obviously, they're an ETF. Uh -huh. And when you have an ETF, you always want to look at their holdings because the ETF is only as good, a sum is only as good as its parts that are together. Guys, they hold the highest payers, the highest of the pack of the payers of the Yomax ETFs. They got. Did you hear what he just said? They hold some of the highest payers of the Yomax ETF. You know what? They also own the Qs. They own the leverage cues. You love the cues, right? You like to swing on that thing hanging from the bottom of the queue. All right? Like it's a Korean F, F basket. Uh, if you have Kony, it's included in Ulti, as you see here, Coin. If you have Misty, it's included in Ulti because they have MicroStrategy. If you have NVIDIA, it's included in Ulti. So they got three of the highest, arguably from the top of the pack, pairs so far, right? Like, see, you all like that YMAG, uh, no, no, YMAX. I call YMAX the yield max garbage pal. Everything they make, and they're going to keep making funds because 
there's a huge business in making funds. You get paid up, paid out right up front. As an in initial investor, not you, stupid, you dummy on Wall Street with your Robin Hood and your phone app and your gig work. Not you, okay? Not you, retired guy. Not you, military. Nobody knows. It's a huge business in making these funds. What if I told you you could open up a Subway franchise for $250,000, okay? And here's the catch. You get your $250,000 back within a week of when it opens, promise guaranteed. Maybe you'll even make a couple of grand. How does that work? See, One day I'll tell you. Tell me in the comments if you want to know, but I don't want to make a lot of enemies on Wall Street. But yeah, every new fund they make is a cash cow right off the bat, just like when they used to make smart contracts in crypto. Okay, um, Every new contract, the admin would make a fucking fortune. Okay, you think it's just, you just think that it's the 1% fees, right? <laughs> you don't know anything. They also have the entire NASDAQ. They got QQQ. <clears throat> they got Palantir, mm -hmm. right? Now, I was blown when I saw this. I've never seen a fund, because I was thinking to myself, I even mentioned in one of my videos, like, I, can you imagine a fund out there trading a triple leverage Russell 2000 product? Yeah. I trade TNA because it's a triple leverage Russell 2000 that has triple the implied volatility, hence triple the premium, hence that could translate into triple the potential dividend. This is a beast of a payer, potentially. Obviously and he goes into it more and more. So he's called the working investor. Go over, say Oracle said hello. Okay. Um, yeah, Alti, it's a weapon. At this point, it, to me, it's a weapon. Is this advice that you should go do it? No, you shouldn't do anything, okay? Um, let's go out here. See, I'm still down probably today. Let me finger Stacy. Hold on. It's not working. It's not working. I can't do anything. Well, listen, uh, this is better than, than anything else. Hope you enjoyed this content. Have a nice day. Again, thank you for the comments. You want to read some comments? First of all, don't forget the working investor. Watch his video. Leave a comment. He's got some crazy sandwich ideas and shit. Some of his stuff you'll want to turn off when he talks about options and stuff. But overall, I enjoy him. I like So it's a little hamburger with a side of the working investor. Okay? We blew the hamburger up. I get nothing. No, thank you. Once, you know what he said? He said, like, hi, this is hamburger. I was like, shout out the hamburger army. They call us the burglars. <laughs> Hamburglers. <laughs> All your comments wind up here in the comment depository unless you say something. Snip, snip. I did a $1,200 core rip on Fiat just now. Oh, my God. Bro, I'm making a video. Oh, that's so great. Yeah, I got to all the comments. Right. Snip, snip. Thank you for sharing your current allocation. Uh, looks promising. QDTE looks like it's suffering. Bro, I just covered that. Okay, I just showed how it's closed. All right, I just showed you that XDT is looking better. QDT is getting hurt. Everybody don't you don't understand the balance? Okay, it's something different. I like all the different products and everything. Leave, ugh, is that a Bitcoin there? Oh, oh my God, what is that? Oh, why bit? Anyway, look. Oh, well, I'll see you at forty-eight thousand people getting bludgeoned over here. Thank you for the comments. I love all the new subscribers. I am not totally yield max. I am about, well, margin to the tits. I mean, just let's take all the money. Let's be tactful about it. Strategies, not spreadsheets. And from now on, ever since, I mean, here's the crap at the end you might want to leave for. I'm going to talk about somebody. I hit all my live streams because they're too raw, okay? But I talked yesterday about this guy getting his testicles cut off. I don't know if you'd ever want to do that, um, but his wife made him do it. Here's the irony. You guys know when you're married, right? That the sex after a while, it gets boring. It ain't that good, whatever. Your wife ain't that hot. I don't know, but I don't know what she promised him. Maybe, I don't know, to whip him or hit him with a paddle in the ass, right? If he cut his balls off. So he got a vasectomy the other day. Right? Look, that's one of his testicles now. Saying, bye, mofo. We used to call him asshead. Okay? He buys his subscribers and everything. He's boring. He's a sniffling. Count the sniffles. Now that I made you aware, 
Tell me below, sniffles, do you see, hear him sniffling? I want you to listen in the earbuds, okay? It's like if I told you how many things around you are blue, you would all of a sudden notice so many blue things around you that you didn't notice before. It's awareness. Get aware of the snorting and sniffling. It's disgusting. So right here, the crack of the ass. Since his wife now has his testicles in a jar, he said to himself, I'm recovering you know, from the sniff, sniff. He made the keyword snip, snip. He is so beta, so emasculated. Keep your children away from emasculated people, okay? It's just, we just got to name him something more respectful now. Man, Gina. Still, a dwarf could sit on his face and violently fuck that. Maybe even make a dwarf child. If there was a dwarf woman on his head with her legs up in the air, I don't know. Man, Gina down. Man, Gina down. And that is how you use an ETF.